As a former and longtime Windows guy, it was a significant leap when I bought my first iPhone a few years ago. Apple's known for its ecosystem, so I knew this would happen, but it quickly was followed by a Mac and an Apple TV. And AirPods and so forth. <laughs> Here are the three of the most impressive benefits of this ecosystem, which have cemented me kind of firmly in the Apple camp for the first time in my life. Apple's ecosystem strategy has been brewing for a long time, and boy has it paid off. Put simply, the three reasons I moved from Fire TV to Apple TV is because the Apple TV is cleaner, and it doesn't constantly try to lure you to new subscription options by showing you content and ads for things you can't watch. Uh, the hardware functions better, and because these features are truly brilliant. The first one is AirPlay. Spending most of my life in the Windows and Android camp, uh, and Windows Phone, but that's another story. <laughs> it's really hard to bother with features like wireless streaming and even Bluetooth because it's always plagued with incompatibilities, poor design, weird model issues. But AirPlay is one of the first Apple ecosystem features that just consistently blows my mind. It's so simple, but nobody's done it this reliably. One of the things I appreciate the most about AirPlay is that it's so versatile. I can send my Max audio to my home theater through my Apple TV, uh, to take advantage of my best speakers. Sometimes I need a slightly larger screen, so I'll airplay something on my phone to my Mac screen, or from my Mac to my TV. There are so many options and they all work seamlessly, and this is just, this is the magic of the it just works principle that I've never understood before the last couple of years. The second most impactful feature to me is AirDrop, wireless file transfer that actually works online and offline, has transfer speed, which is practically as fast as moving something from a flash drive. I don't know how it could get better. Even in the absence of any other feature, AirDrop is what really made me a fan, and it's the most significant thing that will likely keep me in the Apple camp for my main computer long term. Thanks to Cloud Clipboard, you no longer have to email yourself or do other inconvenient things to move a block of text from your phone to your Mac or vice versa, because now you can just copy on one device and paste on another. I literally did that just before recording this to transfer it from my computer to my phone on this teleprompter app. I honestly probably don't have to talk very much about how great this feature is, especially because it's so simple. I think Microsoft tried to implement a cloud clipboard a while ago, but probably because they don't make the phones as far as I recall using it, it just didn't work well. There's really something to be said for the ecosystem. I didn't get it for a long time. I used to point out the immense capability of open source and the limitation of the walled garden, but eventually I had to ask myself what good is all the capacity in the world if it can't be used due to compatibility issues or can't be made to do things reliably and accurately. I'd spent all my time looking for how to do cool things and would promptly realize they didn't work consistently or well enough to be more than a gimmick, to really contribute to my workflow. Apple's method lets them control all ends of the experience and the result is that these features are really functional. They're very much not just gimmicks. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing. In the meantime, here's another video that might interest you.